Because when you got the likes of someone like Jongo, they're going to take it to their advantage. It's usually Bruce that has the advantage with the tie. Poison and ladies and gentlemen, make sure to join and check oh. out www.mercuryprowrestling.academy. If you have any interest in being a pro wrestler or possibly a referee, manager, or even a commentator just like us, feel free to join us here at the Cory in Golden, Colorado, if you have any interest. Well, we need another commentator to stack up next to me. You're just not getting it done. I was going to say vice versa, but I'll tell you one thing. Someone who has really come into their own as a pro wrestler since joining the Pro Wrestling, Mercury Pro Wrestling Academy is the final boss, Bruce Wayne, since he is really starting to beat down John Go Bronson right now. Well, he's standing up against a man who is a judo, oh my god, judo expert in all over the world, MMA. Oh my goodness. Breaks arms. Diving blue thunder bomb right there, and a right shoulder up by John Go Bronson. I am very impressed with what I'm seeing from Bruce Wayans right now. And we can't forget to talk about what we saw earlier in our first matchup, the tag matchup earlier on, and the announcement that the general manager, Austin Reddick, made. The last monster standing match at Supercharged 5. It's going to be Marlon Bishop versus the Big Filt Dog in a last monster standing match. I cannot wait for that. Two hour event, hold the supercharged every single month. This has got to be the biggest one we've held so far with that main event all, all by itself. And now a cover here by the final boss. Gets a two on him. Not enough. And little, we all, Little nonchalant there by Bruce Wayne. We also can't forget to talk about the other matchup that's going to be happening, and that's going to be Abaddon. It's going to be taking on Simone Lockhart, the Lockheads champion, and that's going to be a supercharged five as well. I mean, we are, we're talking double main event already announced for one of the biggest events we have ever held here at Rocky Mountain Pro. What a huge spear. What a counter by Chongo Bronson. It's very much a desperation move, but it's going to give him a chance to get himself together and get his offense started, which he hasn't done this whole matchup. And look at this. He's smiling, and he's... Tuning up the madhouse here, and Bruce Wayans with a huge, oh my, risk and gets a kick in the mouth for his troubles, and one more from that judo champion. The corner now. Ooh. I mean, Chanko's crazy, he plays music, he talks to himself, but he is truly one of the most dangerous men I have ever encountered in this wrestling business. And a hard clothesline, these two have been jawing at each other all week. Is this gonna be the final say? for the final boss. All right now, wait a minute! He's got it locked in! He's got it locked in! They don't Center. Oh, goodness. Center the ring. Goodness, it looks like Bruce Wayne's able to clasp those hands together and gets the feet locked over on the rope. Very smart move by Bruce. He felt that coming on, locked his fingers, and was able to shift his weight to get his feet on the ropes. Beautiful counter to block that finishing move by John Gobrons. Absolutely phenomenal ring awareness there. And funny enough, the technical aspect, along with the power here, for the big man, the, oh, wait a minute, brings him around. That's got to do 